co-founder and co-director of the Campaign for America's Future is Bob Borisaj, Robert Borisaj. Robert, welcome to the program, or welcome back. Pleasure to be here. How are you, Tom? I am fine. Thank you for joining us, and thanks for putting on this conference. It's, it's great stuff. You're going to have some, some... Well, give us a quick snapshot of it, if you don't mind. Well, the conference is going to draw uh, thousands of progressives from across the country and from across the various tribes of the progressive movement uh, to talk about strategy over the next months. What comes after... Uh, uh, you know, the Occupy movement uh, and the strategy for the, the 99 percent. And we're going to be looking at uh, both strategies in the election to drive issues in into this uh, campaign and to uh, uh, challenge the limits of the current debate. Uh, we're going to be looking at progressive champions that are running for office and, and need support. Sandra Fluke is going to be there, uh, Paul Krugman, uh, Katrina Vanden Heuvel from The Nation, uh, Jan Schakowsky, uh Damon Silvers from the AFL-CIO. So it's going to be some of the leading spokespeople, Senator Sherrod Brown and others, coming together to talk about the kind of fundamental issues facing the country and the strategies progressives are devising uh, over the next months. That's great. That is absolutely great. And what is, in, in your opinion, uh, Robert Warsage, what is the state of America right now? Well, we're in trouble. I mean, you know, this is an economy that, uh, in a sense, the old economy that had failed uh, working people for uh, in nearly 30 years with the decline of the middle class uh, has come back uh, from the – it's recovered from the, re- from the recession and the collapse, but the American people have not. So, you know, we're facing mass unemployment, still declining wages, uh, and uh, more and more – parts of the American dream being priced out of the reach of more and more families. And so this is a country that desperately needs a a bold and different strategy for moving forward. And uh, Well, this is what the Republicans are saying. The the Republicans are saying it's not working and therefore put a businessman in the the, uh, White House. Uh, To the best of my recollection, that was the sales pitch George W. Bush gave us, and it didn't work out so well. Or Um, Herbert 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 Hoover Hoover, as well. Yeah. But... But the point that, you know, what they're peddling is exactly the policies that drove us into this mess. Uh, You know, top-end tax cuts, deregulation of banking uh, and corporations, uh, spending cuts for uh, basic social programs that support Americans from retirement security to health care. You go down that route uh, and increase military uh, spending and activism. You go down that route, this country will accelerate its decline. And what we need is a clear alternative path. That's what we're going to be talking about at the conference. So, in your mind, what are the pieces of that clear alternative path? Well, I think most, some of, some large parts of it are common sense. There's a kind of high road economic strategy that has been developed over many years by economists. Uh, right now, uh, you've got to uh, use this occasion to uh, borrow money at incredibly cheap interest rates. Uh, to raise taxes on the wealthy, to cut military spending, and use money to, on one hand, rebuild the country and and, uh, renovate our decrepit infrastructure so it's more competitive, to educate Americans and to revive our education system, which is now falling behind much of the rest of the world. Um, You've got to uh, make the kinds of investments in uh, new energy that will uh, start to address kind of fundamental problems. uh, then you've got to uh, shackle finance so that uh, investment money, we don't do the kind of gambling we've done and build, and build an economy based on bubbles and debt. Um, and uh, uh, you've got to uh, take on empowering workers so they gain a fair share of the profits and productivity they're helping to uh, produce and uh, put, make uh, CEOs accountable so that we don't have these compensation schemes that give them uh, multi-million dollar personal incentives to cook the books or to have short-term operations that ship jobs abroad. Yeah. That's not a complicated uh, <laughs> agenda, but it would take us uh, back to uh, uh, an era where more of the benefits of growth uh, and increasing productivity were, were shared more widely. Many of the pieces, though, that you just described, Robert Borisaj, were actually passed by Nancy Pelosi out of the House of Representatives, landed in the United States Senate, and the Republicans filibustered them. It seems that we need a bigger parade than 
than than we got in 2010 anyway. And and uh, and in addition to that, I'm concerned about all this money that's flooding in the last minute we have here in this segment. Um, how do we do that? Well, it, it's only going to happen one way, which is people mobilizing. Uh, there's no question that the interests won too many of the battles on reform in the first two years of the Obama administration. And then when we got the Tea Party Congress, all progress stopped. Uh, and now uh, people have got to mobilize uh, and clean out Washington, take it back, and resist uh, the appeal of big money uh, to try to uh, make this thing, fix this thing so it still works for the few and not the many. So at the, at the conference here, the uh, Take Back the American Dream 2012 conference, June 18th through the 20th here at the Washington Hilton. And you can, on, uh, you can register, by the way, at ourfuture.org slash conference. Uh, you're going to be talking about exactly how to do that. Yep, no question. And, and you're going to have uh, leaders like Van Jones there, uh, who's uh, leading a campaign across the country on, on this agenda. You're going to have Paul Krugman, the Nobel Prize winner, laying out the economics of it. Uh, Bernie Sanders talking about uh, how we challenge uh, big money politics and inequality. It's going to be uh, quite a time. Quite that, that is great. That's an all-star lineup. Robert Borisage, one of the stars himself. Robert, thank you so much for being with us. My pleasure. Good to talk to you. Ourfuture.org. Check it out. Uh, slash conference for the information on the conference. We'll be right back. Tom Harvin here with you. 27 minutes past the hour.